ever been in midst of a discussion or an argument regarding business, politics, ethics, sports, family responsibility or any other contentious topic and felt that your opponent did not have the right position but had the better argument? Why is it that some people, often lawyers, can use a reasoned argument to debate with frustrating effectiveness? Perhaps you wish that you had a greater repertoire of skills both to make your points and to counter those put forward by your opponent. This book will help. Why not take advantage of a professional gate tools of argument that have been honed through ages in the discipline of law? The purpose of this book is to equip law students, new lawyers, paralegals, and executives, as well as anyone else who wants to improve their skills of reasons persuasion with the power and time-tested tools of argument. Can you recall a time when you identified the loose thread or logical flaw in your opponent's argument, pointed it out, and felt a sense of vindication? At that moment, you might have exclaimed to your opponent that he or she has been lawyered. If you liked that feeling or if you wished you had more persuasive way to articulate the opposing views, then you will enjoy and benefit from this book. After practicing and teaching law for over 30 years, I have come to believe that the tools of argument are remarkably valuable. Indeed, these skills are useful to all of us who engage in small or large business dealings, legal proceedings, government operations, or any other negotiations, and who enjoy critical thinking, persuasive presentation of ideas, and victory in arguments. After all, winning arguments is much more fun than losing them. I have also come to believe that acquiring the skills and mindset to think and argue like the best lawyers is not especially difficult. The problem has been that there are a few places where one can learn about these techniques in a form that abstracts essential nuggets of wisdom from their complex historical and legal contexts. Such a presentation is my goal for this book. I have distilled a comprehensive arsenal of the types of arguments one can make in reasoned discourse, as well as the responsive counter-arguments. I can think of no better way to prepare for an argument than to read this book with your own setting in mind, anticipating how you can use these tools or how your opponent might use them and how can you deftly respond. Law students and prospective law students, you will find this book a unique perspective that will enhance your understanding of legal principles and help you participate with confidence in classroom discussions and debates. Once you have a comprehensive and explicit framework of the arguments and counter-arguments, you can readily see the structure of legal discourse in briefs, cases, and classroom debates. Newly minted lawyers and even experienced legal practitioners, I hope that you will find this book a a useful refresher and checklist of the essential tools that can greatly increase your odds of winning any dispute. If you're not a lawyer, these argument skills will be helpful in both non-legal settings and in any legal setting in which you might find yourself. Indeed, these tools of argument are too valuable to be left solely on the hands of lawyers. Further, this book will shed light on the structure of legal system, which is the principal structure in US and other rule of law based societies for making public policy and for assigning private responsibility, thus helping you become more engaged and knowledgeable citizens. A large proportion of the news of the day has a legal dimension and you will undoubtedly understand more if you have a sense of types of arguments that are used. Of course, in some social and interpersonal settings, it will be unseemly or even dangerous to think and argue like a lawyer as most, most lawyers eventually learn by painful experiences. Don't try arguing to someone to whom you are romantically attracted, that you have a right to their reciprocal affection or that they bear the burden of proving that you are not attracted to them. But it is good to know the technique because on balance they will be useful to you in variety of ways 
perhaps in context of convincing a business colleague of the right strategy, compelling a supplier to comply with its ob- obligations, obtaining a refund for the defective product, securing insurance coverage for a needed medical treatment, or persuading a local youth soccer director to reinterpret a league rule. Consider, is there an issue of precedent? Was an agreed-upon process followed? Does the decision-maker have appropriate jurisdiction? I believe the importance of learning these skills because they do work. They make a difference in winning or losing in the war of words. After all, these techniques of argumentation have evolved and survived over the course of many, many centuries because they have inherent compelling logic. People respond to these arguments not because speaker is overbearing, manipulated or charismatic, but because they see logic of the argument. Surprising as it may be, legal logic is real, real logic, not separate from other types of logic. If you can bring these compelling logic back to bear in legal, business and interpersonal settings, you can be more persuasive. This book is designed to help you do just that. Please like, share, comment and subscribe. Love you.